Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc's Autos and I've got stuff on my lens. There we go. Alright everybody, welcome back to Doc's Autos. I am Tim, thank you for joining us today and we are starting off with the beginning of our shed build. And we have piles of parts laying around. Some columns and supports and eave overhangs, door jams, more columns. Way back there, we've got all of our purlins and girts and siding and trim boxes. Over here, we've got more door jams, eave extensions, and our big roof beams uh, to be assembled. So, I'm kind of curious what I want to do first. We've got uh, we've got our help coming out here soon, but I want to try and be as prepared as possible. So, I want to go ahead and try and get some of those. Uh, five roof beams assembled. Uh, do I want to go ahead and get some of our jams in place for our windows? Do I want to try and set up the one, two, three, four, five columns for our lean to? Uh, those are kind of my options now with what I've got uh, tools and the capacity to do myself. Um, try to go through as much as possible and prep the uh, nuts and bolts for everything get the eve extensions bolted on um, where possible got a few questions here uh, the holes in the column are three quarters uh, these are drilled five eighths so need to make sure we should be drilling these out to match three quarters as well because uh these don't fit in the hole so that is my only real dilemma with assembly so far. We've got our big box of nuts and bolts over here. Our German short here. Everyone needs one of those. So I guess my question is, do I start with these five columns here? Those are about 80 pounds a piece, something I can certainly manhandle myself. Or do I want to work on some of the door jams or the window jams? So. That's my dilemma. I think I'm gonna try and get some of the roof beams assembled and see how that goes. And if that's a complete and utter failure, then I'll go back to the, uh, the, the windows. So we will see what I can come up with. And uh, also in planning for our big building weekend, I have dug our two campers out. We've got our horse trailer here pop-up camper here. Both of them survived this past winter without any mice, thankfully. Uh, pop-up has some lingering damage from two years ago I have to fix. I got frustrated with it and said the heck with it. Uh, but the horse camper, which we remodeled, uh, actually was just a weekender. We put full living quarters in it, uh, sink and bed and TV and cabinets and everything. I've got friends staying in both of those. And uh, staying out there in the pasture. We're going to kick the horses out in the far pasture and uh, park some campers in here behind Bob. So we've got plenty of plenty of help and plenty of space. So likely, hopefully we can get power run down to them all for the bare necessities for the refrigerator and air conditioner at the very least uh, and go from there. So for now I'm going to start trying to put something together and try and get a head start. So Stay tuned and we'll see what I get a chance to assemble. Today is supposed to be the start of our shed building weekend. Unfortunately, Mother Nature is not cooperating with us, as you can clearly see. We've had rain for about the last hour and a half. Our pasture is flooded, our horsey barn is flooded, and our uh, little camping city is wet. We've also got some puddles down by the build area so we'll just hope that there are more blue skies behind these clouds. Oh, there's some right there. We'll just hope that the sun comes out and dries off these puddles so we can actually get to work today. So for now, 
We're gonna go and grab a little bit of breakfast and hope this dries out. See you soon. Hey everybody, good morning for day two. We uh, had a pretty productive day yesterday, as you can see here. We got uh, got the lean-to structure up and uh, kind of did a little backwards building just because of the rain we had. If it rained again, back here would be pretty inaccessible. So we got that structure all up, squared up, and uh, ready to go. So today we're going to work on the main structure. And we've got a long day ahead of us. We put in about... 11 hours yesterday, I think, Mr. Bug. So we'll just uh, wait for the coffee to be done, breakfast to be out of the oven, and then we'll hit it again. So stay tuned, here we go. Oh, hey guys, how are we doing? We had a nice, nice storm blow through here. It was supposed to be a nice light rain while well, we had uh, 40 mile an hour winds and both of our canopies were uh, quite relocated to other areas of our field. But we've got a good section of the shop up, last two columns to get put up, and uh, hopefully we can just uh, make it through the last bit of rain here. Now that the lightning and thunder and torrential downpours have ended, We have wonderful, wonderful working environment here. But hey, people are here and willing to work and get this stuff done. So we are going to take advantage of that. And if they're willing to work, that's awesome. That's what good friends are for. So let's try not to fall in the mud. Here's what I was talking about with the heavy rains. A lot of it quickly, our driveway completely washed out in a handful of places. Normal rains does not happen, but heck with the amount of rain we got, it uh, definitely rutted out, you know, a good up to my shin in some places. Both sides of the driveway, so we'll have to come back up and fix Fix that again once everything dries out. Hey, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little time-lapse video. We were so busy building the shop and working on getting everything put together, I didn't actually stop to take a whole lot of pictures or uh, video during the process. So that time-lapse, I guess, is all we get. And uh, due to the weather we had, I only set out this little GoPro here, not my other 
a couple of cameras I had just because when it started to rain I didn't want to have to run around grabbing parts tools and cameras and we did get a bunch of rain here we got about um, in the area here we got between three and five inches of rain over the course of the weekend we had 14 days of beautiful sunny mid 70s weather uh, up until the start of our shop build and <laughs> we got rain Friday morning right away about 5 a.m. We got a good storm Saturday afternoon, which totally decimated our pop-up canopies, uh, blew them across the pasture. And then uh, <clears throat> Sunday morning, we got rain. And again, this morning, Monday, about 3 a.m., we got pummeled again with another severe thunderstorm, which, which had some hail. So otherwise, to recap, we got the main structure up in the lean-to in the back. A lot of the secondary framing is up. We do have some more purlins on the roof to put up and uh, some of the, the end channels here, the, uh, <clears throat> oh, what are they called? The, uh, uh, the eave struts, I believe, uh, that uh, tie in all the eave extensions together. And then of course our little lean-to to put on, but we only had, uh, we only had time to do so much with the delay we had probably lost about four hours on Saturday due to rain and Friday morning was extremely wet uh, just like you see here and it did not really dry out <laughs> a whole lot until probably Sunday afternoon uh, so the good thing with the rain is that all of our dirt we've had has started to get wet and settle in around our edges and you can see where the excavation was and where we backfilled um, and it's starting to settle in so that's going to help with that but otherwise the building itself went up phenomenally uh, we did a little bit of a modified uh, process just due to the weather uh, basically the start is they want you to start with a couple of uh, bays here and get them braced and then build out from there but what we did is we started with these couple of bays and then we worked on the lean-to section to get all those columns up and then the lean-to set up with the purlins and a couple of girts set up uh, so that we could uh, work on the front side of the building if it happened to rain again on Saturday or Sunday, which it did. So uh, Saturday we ended up getting all the rest of the columns up. All the beams, we flew those in. We worked until dark, about 9 p.m. both days, Friday and Saturday, and uh, leaving us with just a lot of the secondary framing for Sunday, since it was kind of tough to move around with the lifts in all of this muck. Uh, let me run back here. There's a couple areas from backfilling that just simply weren't weren't dry um, and compacted of course so what we have back here is a couple of huh, a couple of swimming pools uh, and that hole right there is about three feet deep <laughs> so that gives you an indication of how much rain we've had um, yeah we had a lot of rain so otherwise ah uh, yeah squishy everywhere in terms of putting up the actual building, uh, every bolt hole lined up nearly perfect. We didn't have to do any shimming. We didn't have to do any cutting of the, uh, or opening up of the holes in any of the columns. We needed to do minimal work with uh, drift pins to get everything lined up um, at the top here. So that's a huge credit to both Great Western uh, for the build quality and also for uh, the guys over at Plumber Concrete for getting everything set in uh, perfect. I mean, anchor bolts were all uh, all lined up. They weren't tipped over, didn't have to bend anything, beat on anything to get the stuff set up. So uh, I guess we're just kind of waiting for this to dry out.
that gives me the opportunity to start going along the bottom couple rows of girts here and making sure everything is squared up, get the rest of my nuts and bolts in place, uh, get the door jams set so they can come back and finish pouring the door caps. Um, had to do a little bit of a modified process for getting these set in just so we could continue with the build process. Uh, we'll go ahead and get everything squared up for the windows. Those should arrive next week. Actually, wait, those should arrive this week. And uh, then we can get those installed and the bottom here wrapped and start working on some of our siding, hopefully. And uh, we'll also have another weekend of work. Uh, all of our helpers have graciously said to, uh, hey, invite us back. We'll come and help <laughs> to get the rest of these uh, purlins set up. Uh, so really... We couldn't have asked, except for the weather, we couldn't have asked for a better outcome for uh, the start to getting the shop up. We got pretty much done what I wanted to, and that was the main parts of the steel structure. And aside from the weather hindering us a little bit, uh, everything went off excellent. Uh, equipment worked, people worked, nobody got hurt. That's the awesome point. And then we also got to hang around and, uh, and chit chat a bit with some of our friends we haven't seen. Uh, for probably the better part of a year uh, just due to schedules and life so for that's about it for now I'll put up some other videos uh, and uh, post stuff on Instagram as we go through and get more of these uh, smaller things trued up and installed but we'll probably have some more video of course uh, with the rest of the purlins and then siding and uh, whatnot so I guess I guess that's about it uh, big thanks to our friends that came out and helped and uh, the equipment we had available to use which is awesome could not have done it without uh, the telehandler and a couple of man lifts and this thing looks pretty big when it's all set up it's uh it's the 50 by 80 and these columns look a little bigger stood up than they do laying down on the ground uh, so walking around, I think this is going to be a fantastic space for us. And again, thanks to, uh, Great Western for, uh, putting together such a great product. Uh, a couple of the folks that were helping us actually are interested in putting up a, bu a building. So possibly they'll get a hold of Great Western and, uh, order a building for themselves. We can go build it all over again. I guess so, I'm dragging on here with the Minnesota goodbye. Uh, so I'll just say like and subscribe, share it to your friends, and we will see you on the next video. Stay safe. Bye-bye.